all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to build a function that is going to accept a connection so right now we are just listening for connections that is our server is just sitting over there and it's going to listen for connections from a client but what we also have to do is after listening to a connection if a connection is initiated we also have to accept the connection so we are just going to make a function that is going to accept connections but first let me just comment over here a little bit so that when you guys go over the code again it helps you out and i'm just going to write establish connection with a client and the socket must be listening so if you try to accept the connection without this line s dot listen it's not going to work so let's now make a function let's call it socket underscore accept and inside this connection inside this function we are going to write s dot accept which is basically the function for accepting the connection and it gives us two very important data in return the first data is actually an object of a connection or the conversation and we can do a lot of things with that connection uh, which i'm going to show you in a little bit and the second thing it gives us is a list which contains the ip address and a port so we are going to save both of them in two places first we are going to write connection and which we are just going to write conn short form and then address and we are going to make it equal to s dot accept so the connection object is going to be stored in this con variable and the list that is this address is storing the ip address and the port let me just print out the ip address and the port so that you guys have an understanding what is actually happening and one more thing that whenever this function runs unless it accepts a connection and the acceptance is completed it's not going to move to the next line so when it's going to get to the print area is it will already be connected to other computer that is why we can just print out connection connection has been established that's pretty cool and after that we are just going to print out the ip address just write plus ip and we are going to just print out the ip address in small letters and recall it's a list we are going to the first element of the list and that contains the ip address let's print out the port now and we are just going to write port and because this address was in string that is why i didn't have to convert the ip address into a string but the port will be in integer that is why we'll have to convert the port into an integer so you're just going to write address and then we'll just write the second element of the list now it will print this out when the connection has been established the next thing we want to do is that whenever the connection has been established at the end we always want to close the connection so we'll just write con dot close and it's going to close the connection now what the next thing what you want to do after accepting a connection let's say your friend is sitting in texas and you want to help him out and he doesn't know how to create a new folder so what you want to do is from your computer you want to send a command to his computer that will create a new folder which can be like mkdir or something like that so we're just going to create a function called send underscore commands and we are going to use the con object inside it so con is basically the conversation and whenever we want to do anything with the connection we use this con object so now that we have created this function actually we are going to create this function in the next video and this is pretty much it for this video so first we created a socket then we bind the socket to the port and host and then we listened for connection and after a client is trying to connect to us we are going to accept the connection and is going to store it in the two variables of con and address and after the connection has been accepted it's going to print out the ip address and the port at which the connection has been established this ip address and the port will be of the client or your friend or your victim after the connection has been established what we want to do is actually send some kind of commands for example making a directory or something after which we are going to close this connection so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to implement this send command function so i'll see you over there